450 years is a long time to wait for recognition in your hometown. Sail away for Robert Armin! Shakespearean actor extraordinaire! You may be wondering who was Robert Armin. Writer and broadcaster Stephen Fry has some of the answers. Robert Armin was a King's Lynn lad, born in September 1565, the son of John and Isabel, and baptised in St Margaret's Church. His father was a successful tailor, however Robert was apprenticed to a London goldsmith. By 1590, new theatres had opened in London, The Theatre and The Curtain. Robert was apparently on the fringe, writing plays and playing bit parts, joining an actor's company, Chandos's Men. Little of his involvement with them is known. By 1599, he joined the Lord Chamberlain's Men, the company Shakespeare worked with. The exact timing remains unclear, but this had probably occurred before the departure of the clown Will Kemp. Armin's new style of comedy brought in the wise fool. This urged Shakespeare to create Feste in Twelfth Night specifically for Armin, and he may have played a significant role in the development of Shakespearean fools that have shaped comedy today. Shakespeare's Guildhall Trust has chosen St George's Day to celebrate the life of Robert Armin. For centuries, St George's Day has been celebrated with dancing and parades, and today the Norwich Whifflers are parading through King's Lynn. Shakespeare was born on St George's Day in 1564, and he died on this day in 1616. Come on, clear the way, keep back, keep well back. Keep back, you people over there, clear the way. The Whifflers were drawn from the Guild of St George, and they provided a private police force. They kept the streets clear, made sure the mayor and the sheriff weren't attacked. They'd arrest people, etc. Um, the whifflers and standard bearers formed a sort of pageantry group as well. So for the mayor's procession and events, they would be like the honour guard for the mayors. Clear the way for Robert Armin! After some time in London, Robert Armin returned to King's Lynn in 1593, performing with an Elizabethan playing company, the Earl of Pembroke's Men. Travelling performances were always interesting because the company couldn't bring all its stuff and couldn't bring all its actors. So uh, when Shakespeare's company will have come to King's Lynn, they will probably have been slightly more concentrated in number, which will have put even more emphasis on the actors who were there. Um, so, and I think, so Armin's triumphant return home, that will have been uh, ex very exciting. Clowns were famous for extemporizing. So that will have allowed Armin to make homely domestic references to Kings Lynn. And one other thing I should say that Armin will definitely, definitely have done, and that will certainly have had a Kings Lynn flavor. And that is that at the end of productions, Armin seems to have responded to themes from the audience. So what this is, is that the audience would shout out questions or comments, and he would extemporize rhymed responses, often singing and dancing them as well. And my guess is that King's Lynn people will have shouted local questions about the company, themselves, him, his family, all productions, therefore, will have had a profoundly local flavour at the end of them. Maybe Robert Armin would deal with hecklers in a similar way to today's comedians, something that Jenny Beek, who's portraying Robert Armin in the parade, is very used to as a Norfolk stand-up. I improvise a lot on stage where I would ask the audience members facts about themselves and then write a, a song on the spot. So there's that sort of improvisation that we see now in today's comedy, like say, whose line is this anyway? Or if you go to a live performance, you might see that. I think Robert Armin left a legacy of comedy that I wasn't even aware of in terms of why I perform and the need to perform and to make audiences laugh. And I think that he was a star of that time that has influenced today's comedy. There are many differences, but there are many similarities. And some of the, the phrasing, even though it seems outdated, is not quite strange, but true. And certainly I'm, it's made me interested in, in looking back at 
to see where we've come in comedy and see where comedy is now. Robert Armin is being honoured in the town at his birthplace, number 78 High Street. The mayor of Kings Lynn, Jeff Hipperson, performs the unveiling ceremony. This plaque commemorates the Shakespearean connection with Kings Lynn and stands alongside our recent recognition of the very long theatre tradition which has taken place in St George's Guildhall. Born in September 1565, baptised in St Margaret's Church, the family home was on this site where his father, John, had a tailor's shop. He should stand amongst the great actors on a scale of recognition. It gives me great pleasure to unveil this plaque to Robert Armin. And so at last, one of the great Shakespearean comic actors, Robert Armin, is recognised in his hometown, just a few hundred yards from where he performed in St George's Guildhall, now Britain's oldest working theatre.